Are you just going to stand there and stare at me, or are you going to hand me that towel? I'm going to stand here and stare at you. Just kidding. Do you need anything scrubbed, or...? Now, this may be a silly question, but, um, who are you? I'm, um... Um, I'm, I'm Helen Hyde. I'm Dr. Jack's new assistant. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, where's Richard? Richard went home. He worked all night and needed some sleep. Mm -hmm. I bet he did indeed. Now, where would your clothes be? I spilled coffee on them. Oh. Where are the reports on the new test samples? Oh, new test samples. They'd, they'd be right here. Uh, I tell you what, seeing that the young Dixter is not around and you are looking as fresh as a peach cobbler pie, why don't I shut the door, close the blinds, and help you go over some of the more difficult sections? You really wouldn't mind? No, no, I wouldn't mind uh, at all. <laughs> Ow! It's been a pleasure meeting you, Pete. Montague. Monsieur Dubois. I'm Dr. Jack's new assistant, Helen Hyde. Uh, Enchanté. Uh, I assure you the pleasure's all mine. Uh, Yves Dubois, what an honor. When I was at Givenchy, you were regarded as something of a legend. <laughs> but I mustn't waste your time. Only Richard is out of the office today, and he was most insistent that I give you this. Well, I certainly can't fault him on some of his more recent decisions. Merci, mademoiselle. Anyway, thank you for your time. I'll be in tow. <laughs> Great. I've got Richard's brain and this body. In two weeks, I'll own that company. But first, I'll start with that dress. Take a look at a brand new me. I'm thinking you're Ms. Hyde. Mr. Mintz, I've seen your picture in Forbes magazine, but you look so much younger in person. <laughs> uh, Dr. Dubois just gave me Richard's report, and uh, you could tell him for me it's excellent. He's finally getting somewhere on this, and that section on female preferences was superb. Actually, I added that part myself. I hope you don't mind. Mind? No, 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 don't mind. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Valerie? Yes? I don't want to interrupt you. I know how busy you are, but uh, Dr. Jacks wanted you to have this. Does it tick? Oh, I don't believe it. What has gotten into this man? Oh, Richard felt so ashamed for pressuring you. He thought it was the least he could do. Will you buzz me in? Sure. Hi, Sarah. 
I'm sorry. Um, have we met? Oh, I'm uh, Richard's new assistant, Helen. Hi. Um, well, you wouldn't happen to know where he is, would you? Idaho. He's in Idaho with a client. Idaho. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're absolutely sure it's not another woman. Richard loves you, Sarah. He's just in such a mess about his work, he's forgotten how to live. How to love. I don't know why to make it all so complicated. He's a man. <laughs> exactly. Well, they're all little boys, really, all of them. Do you mind if I give you some advice? No, you know, it's funny, but I feel like we've known each other for ages. Move out for a while. What? Just for a couple of weeks. Let him see how empty his life is without you in it. Hmm? Thanks, Helen. I really don't think I could have got through that without you. Oh, forget it. I just want you two to be happy. <sighs> Let's get together again for lunch sometime. Yeah, be great. Okay? <laughs> I thought that if another woman came between me and Sarah, that it would be me. Since you liked my additions to the report so much, maybe you could let me get involved with the development of the perfume itself. Helen, dear, we have a week to go and Dr. Jax already has Peter Walker backing him up. <laughs> Walker is an idiot, sir, and everybody knows it. And where the hell is Richard when you need him? Either at home trying to patch up his personal life doing his own research. Is that true? I can do this. Miss Hyde, you're a secretary. So is every other woman in this company. Look, uh, what if there's a vacancy? Sorry, there isn't. Maybe you're working late. Don't cross me tonight. I'm not in the mood. Did you ain't with you then? One loser at a time's enough, don't you think? <laughs> what do you think that kind of aggression intimidates me, Helen? Uh-uh. See, I've known women like you. Ruthless, driven, seemingly unapproachable. And I know that all you really want is a man who's brave enough to cut through all that crap. <sighs> See, I like that. Bring that on. I didn't think it was possible for you to be dumber than I thought, P, but I'm beginning to change my mind. <laughs> you got spirit. I like that in a woman. And I know you're aggressive, even if Richard doesn't. That's why I'm willing to let you in on a little project of mine. Very hush-hush. Experimental eau de cologne. Concentrated solution of acidic secretions from the anal sacs of the Finnish reindeer. And I believe the most powerful aphrodisiac known to man. <laughs> you are pathetic. Even if you meant that, and I know you don't, one whiff of this, and you'll be my love slave for the rest of the night. I tell you what, why don't the two of us have a little sit down, have a drink, and discuss this? You look like you could use a big stiff one. Fine. Really? Let's go. You're not gonna regret this. I'm gonna go wash up. So, are you gonna stay? I'll be right back. Let me go pull the car around. 
<laughs> Why don't you splash a little bit of this on while you're at it? Oh, yes. Let the games begin. Mr. Mintz. Helen, please, I can't go through this anymore. I'm tired. I want to go home. All I came back for was to apologize for the way I acted before. Yeah, well, that's... That's fine. Just forget about it. You know what it's like when you're young and ambitious and completely infatuated with the man you're working for. Yeah, well, I'm sure Dr. Jax appreciates you. Oh. I'm not talking about Dr. Jax. Oliver. Oh, do you mind if I call you Oliver? Uh. Of course not. I'm falling in love with you. Oh, but you hardly even know me. Do you know what I dream about at night? Oliver? Night after restless night. You making mad, passionate love to me. <clears throat> oh, I want to be with you alone. Um, supposing there was a vacancy. Supposing tomorrow morning when you went into the office, you found that somebody had died. Uh huh. Quite unexpectedly. Or had a terrible accident. Would you, would you promote me then? Well, <laughs> Helen, I just... Mm. Oh, I could be so much closer to you then. Sweetheart. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Helen, sweetheart, you just have to understand that there are procedures. Uh, no, no, no. I can overrule those procedures. Oh, yeah. I'd have to keep my own hours. Right. And do you know what else I've always dreamed of? <laughs> A Mercedes. Anything. Damn it! Helen? Did I say something wrong? Oh, Richard. Sweetheart, what's going on? Let me in, please. Uh, just a minute. Honey, Mr. Monkey wants to play. Uh, 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 yeah. Helen, Helen, uh, don't start without me. Let, let me find the spare key. Uh, This is something you could never understand. Oh, not now! Valerie, I didn't set the presentation with Underfelt for today. Oh, Richard did? No, no. Keep it as it is. Thanks. Oh, Richard. You thought you could embarrass me, didn't you? You know, before I just considered you an inconvenience, but you've crossed the line. You want to fight? I'll give you a war. I don't think I can't find a perfume to present. I'm way ahead of you. Always had potential, Richard. You just couldn't see it. 
Gentlemen, may I present indulge? <coughs> Etonemo. Astonish me. Shock me. Fascinate me. Delight me. It'll be my pleasure. actually reminds me of something Jax once worked on. But better. Much better. Oh, mon dieu. It's wonderful. It's, um, sublime. Do you think we're there? Almost. So, Oliver. Hmm? Can we call marketing and design? Helen, I really think that would be a little premature. Yeah. On the other hand. Eve? Why don't you go brief marketing now? Oh, why don't you go? You go. Oh, you go. You go. You go. You go. You go. You go. Oh, you go. It's your job. Go. place in 15 minutes. Hello, darling. Oh, um, this is, um, Hillary. No, Helen. Um, she's happily married and new to the firm. So, how was your mother's? Fine. She's waiting in the car. We're taking her to dinner. We? Oui. Ooh, no can do. Let's go, Oliver. Right. Don't pride yourself. I have to watch him around the family dog. Yes, you do. Noticing me, Eve. In every department, especially personnel. Forgive me. I took the liberty of checking your file. After all, we are considering you for a major position. Like Givenchy. I'm afraid they've never heard of you. Nor have the IRS. No social security number, no driver's license. It's strange, isn't it? You're a very smart man, Eve. How about if I help you fill in the gaps? It could prove to be quite a new experience for you, don't you think? But it has to uh, be our little secret. You nasty little boy. I'll meet you at your place later. certainly was different. We're launching Indulge Perfume tonight. I want you and Helen there. No arguments. This is the tenth message I've left. Richard, it's Pete. Listen, Helen's got Ms. Roger on her little finger, so it's no go. 
You and I gotta stop her, because if we don't do it, no one will. Get away from the car, sir! God. I've got a gun! So, meet me at the company parking lot at 10 o'clock. I got a way to expose her. My pleasure, Petey. Damsel in distress, you little vixen. Thank you so much for that. I am back. I am back. Chicks dig guys with burns. They dig them, they dig them, they dig them. Rub it, smack it, love it down. Ow! Jeez. <laughs> Here comes the cavalry, baby. So what are we looking at here, darling? A little picture of an oil can lit up. Yeah, well, you know, you need a lube, I'm your man. <laughs> What's your name, darling? Well, this may come as something of a shock. Well, I've heard just about it all, you know. <laughs> Or maybe it was something electrical. Perhaps it was the radiator. She loves me. Pete, you look burned out. Can't get enough. Don't tell me that pathetic boyfriend of yours talked you into helping him. I'll just shut it, Helen, okay? Now, you have two choices. Either you can drink this and make both our lives easier, or um, we can share the experience of me giving my first injection. Look. Oh, goody. Injection it is. <laughs> <laughs> you've done. Sarah, get me out of here. Oh, the formula. Come on, Richard, change. Ah! If I die, Richard dies too. All right. Sarah, um, right. Come on, wait. Where's that key? The key, where's the... Wait, okay, that way. the rest of the formula. Dress. Why are you punishing yourself? You're my shrink, you tell me. 
Oh, where is she? She? Shut up. Just shut up. Oh, Essie is eating her heart out. She's Shay Hildy. When do we get to meet the creator? Oh, the moment she arrives. She's quite a woman. Yes, hi. There she is now. Showtime. Fabulous dress. Where did you get it? Just outside. <laughs> but I'm giving you everything. The house, the apartment, the car, the kids. The only thing I want is me. But you're forgetting one thing, Oliver. I don't like you well enough to divorce you. But poopsie. Who's back? Miss? Peter? Mm. Uh, you remember Barbara? She is one crazy bitch. Yes, but she's still my wife. Well, what? No, I'm talking about Helen. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. She's going down. I'm going in. Like the hair. Hmm? Hey. I agree. Well, <sighs> Helen. <laughs> Pete. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hello. Well, nice to see you. Go away. You like to play rough, huh? I like to play rough, too. Uh, I love the way you see right through me. Really? You may need a little bit, just a bit of waxing. Talking gun, because that ain't gonna do it. I'd shave that thing into a goatee and get it over with. <laughs> Out of my way, dickhead. It's all. Hello there. On your attention, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the creator of Indulge, Helen Hyde. Come on up. Helen, everyone, let's give her a hand. Come on, Helen, come on. Come on, incredible woman. Helen, Helen Hyde. Oh, she's quite lovely. Oh, yes, I agree. And whose fault is that? I want you to introduce the commercial. Why don't you? Honestly, darling, this is your night to blossom. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, Indulge. You hate me. I love you. I have to. You want me? Forever. Helen. Darling. I'm leaving my wife. Lucky for her. Huh? Richard. Later. But, but help. Help. What the hell are you doing? I'm gonna miss this for the world.
I think the next thing you should work on is a hair remover. Created indulge. Uh, not for men who think they know what a woman wants, but for women. Because I am one. You always said you liked women with balls. <laughs> what have you done with her? I, uh... No, no, she, no, no, where is she? Uh, she, Mrs. Unterfeld, is me. I am Helen Hyde. In order to create the ultimate feminine fragrance, I had to get in touch with that part of myself that is a woman. Would you stop touching me? I had to dress like a woman, feel like a woman, live as a woman. Because the truth is, there's a woman in all of us. Bravo! 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 Shit out of Siegfried and Roy. Yeah! Yeah! Hey, hey, hey. Richard, Richard, buddy, you tried to kill me. Well, hey, Pete, my man, you tried to mount me. Uh, I need a bath. Jax! Jax, how could you do that? You won't tell anyone, will you? You're a very naughty boy, Oliver. Oh, uh, uh, what, what? You remember that raise you wanted? Partnership. A, par a partnership and a lab. Your, your, own. your own lab to do all that scientific thing you like to do. Whatever you want, we can do. Did you hear that? Yes, I did. I won't be able to start for three weeks. I'll be on my honeymoon. Oh. We'll be waiting for you. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh. and her damn thongs. You don't have to tell me. Oh, <laughs> 